All right, this is going to be the next part of my simplex method video. So, one thing I left out in the first part when we did our, um, you know, our, our row reduction. Originally, we had s1 and s2, and remember, I said this s sub 2 has has to get replaced with the variable from the corresponding column. So I've done that. Uh, my s2 is now turned into an x sub 3. So that's one thing uh, definitely make note of here for sure. Okay, um, we also decided that this 2 is going to be our pivot element, but we have to make this pivot element into a 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1 half the first row, and that's going to turn into my new first row. Okay, so let's see if we can't uh, do all the arithmetic here. So let's see, we've got x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, p, We've got two, well, shoot, let's don't write that down yet. Um, if we take one half of the first row, we'll get one half, we'll get one half of two, which will be one, we'll get zero, one half, negative one half, zero. Our 200 will now turn into a 100. Again, we're dividing everything by two. And then I'm going to leave everything else alone. Um, I'm just going to recopy it. So we've got one half, one half, one, zero, one half, zero. 400, we had negative 2, negative 3, 0, 0, 5, 1, and 4,000. Okay, again, this 1 um, we decided was our, our pivot element. So again, what that means is I have to get zeros elsewhere in this column. Okay, so again, my x sub 2 and my s sub 1 are going to switch out after I do this. <clears throat> so to get uh, my second row to be a zero, I'm going to have to take negative one half row one and add that to row two to get my new row two. It looks like we'll have to take three times row one and add that to row three to get my new row three. Again, I want a zero down there as well. So let's see, x1, x2, x3, we've got s1, s2, p. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch these out because they're going to switch. So my S1 is going to turn into an X sub 2. We've still got X sub 3. So the first row, we're going to leave that alone. We've got 1 half, 1, 0, 1 half, negative 1 half, 0, and 100. So if we do this first row operation, we'll take negative 1 half times a half, which is negative 1 fourth, plus a half is going to be positive 1 fourth. We'll get negative one half plus a half, which is zero. We'll get zero plus one, which will be one. Negative one half times a half is negative one fourth, plus a zero is negative one fourth. We'll have negative one half times negative one half, which is going to give us positive one fourth, plus a half will be three fourths. We'll get zero plus zero. We'll get negative one half times a hundred, which is negative fifty, plus four hundred is going to be three fifty. So that takes care of this first row operation. Next, we have to do 3 times r1 and add that to uh, row 3. So 3 times a half is going to be 3 halves, plus negative 2 is still going to give us a negative 1 half. We'll get uh, 3 plus negative 3 will be 0. If we take 3 times 0 plus 0, that's 0. 3 times a half plus 0 is 3 halves. We'll get negative 3 halves plus 5, which is 10 halves. Negative 3 halves plus 10 halves is 7 halves. We'll get 0 plus 1, which is 1. And then we'll get um, 300 plus 4,000, which will be 4,300. OK, and I, unfortunately, again, now what we have to do is look at our bottom row. Since there's still negative numbers left over, that means we're not finished yet. So we've got to do uh, at least one more step. I'm going to do the same thing. So our first column is going to be our pivot column. I take the number on the right and divide it by the value in the column. So 100 over 1 half is going to be 100 times 2, or 200. We'll have um, 350 divided by 1 fourth. That's like taking 350 and multiplying by 4, which is going to give us 1,400. Again, we pick the smaller of these two values. Certainly 200 is the smaller of those values. 
And that means we find the intersection of that row and that column that's going to be our new pivot element. Okay, so this one half is going to be our pivot element, but first we want to turn that into a one. So that means we're going to have to multiply our first row here by the number two. So let's see, I'm going to take two times row one, and that's going to become my new row one. We've got x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, and p. We've got x2 and x3. So if I multiply the first one by uh, positive 2, we'll get 1, 2, 0, 1, um, negative 1, we'll have 0. And if we multiply our 100 by 2, that'll turn back into 200. The second row we'll leave alone, 1 fourth, 0, 1, negative 1 fourth, 3 fourths, 0, 350. And we'll also leave the third row alone. So we've got negative 1 half, 0, 0, 3 halves, 7 halves, 1, and 4,300. All right, so last but not least, we still have to get zeros elsewhere in that column. Again, our one's our pivot element. So what we're going to do is we're going to take um, negative 1 fourth times row 1. We'll add that to row 2 to get our new row 2. We'll also take a positive 1 half times row 1, add that to row 3 to get our new row 3. All right, so let's see here. We've got x1, x2, x3, s1, s2, um, p. Let's see, I'm going to uh, do two things again. Since we're doing this row operation, we have to switch out our x sub 2 with that x sub 1. So instead of x2 and x3 on the left, we're now going to have x1 and x3 on the left. I'm going to leave the first row alone. But now I'm going to do our pivot operation. So let's see, negative 1 fourth times 1 plus 1 fourth is going to give us 0. Negative 1 fourth times 2 is going to be negative 1 half plus 0 will be negative 1 half. We'll get 0 plus 1, which will be 1. Negative 1 fourth plus negative 1 fourth will be negative 2 fourths or negative 1 half. Um, we'll get positive 1 fourth plus 3 fourths will give us 1. We'll get 0 plus 0, which is 0. And if we take negative 1 fourth times 200, that's negative 50, plus 350 is going to be positive 300. So we've done that row operation now. Next, I have to take the first row and add it to the third row. So I'll get, well, 1 half plus negative 1 half, which is 0. We'll get 1 half times 2, which is 1 plus 0, or 1. We'll get 0 plus 0, or 0. We'll get 1 half plus 3 halves, which is 4 halves, or 2. We'll get um, negative 1 half plus 7 halves, which is 6 halves, or 3. We'll get 0 plus 1, which is 1. We'll take 1 half of 200, which is 100, plus 4,300 will give us 4,400. Now, hooray, we are done, because if you look at the bottom, there are no um, negative numbers floating around. That means we are now finished, and we can interpret our result, which we're going to talk about in another video.